Hey you guys, Brad Kamba here with Matt. That's right everyone, welcome to another Jamcore Review Show where we unbox and review the things that you love. And on today's epic episode we do the... New Crate the Xbox. That's right, oops, for the month of May. And May has been really good for movies. Of course there was uh, Avengers Infinity War and... Deadpool 2. That's right. And due to unforeseen events, our little buddy Flash Tastic can't be in the video. Uh, but he will be back in the next one. So, shout out to Flash Tastic. In case you haven't noticed, what do you think this box is? Deadpool. That's right, guys. This is all Deadpool. Now, of course, the theme was role models. And it threw me for a loop as well. I honestly thought that they were going to give us a mixed genre and mixed franchise. But you're going to lose your mind. This box is fantastic. All right, let's get with the first item, okay? Now, in every one of these Loot Crate boxes, because you, the fans of Loot Crate, right, you guys, at the very beginning, early on, you guys petitioned for shirts. You guys said, give us a shirt in each and every one of these boxes, because that wasn't always the case. But now, in each one of their core boxes and the X boxes, you get a shirt. And this one is amazing. I'm a fan of Raglan shirts. If you don't know what Raglan shirts, the best way to describe it is it's those baseball tees. Those, uh, what do you call it? Two-tone shirts, sleeves usually come up to here. This is fantastic. It wouldn't be complete without a Deadpool design. Look at that, look at that, that is amazing. It says smolder, I make this shirt look good. That is fantastic. And of course it's designed in a, I wanna say chibi. You know what chibi is? In case you guys don't know what chibi is, it's a form of art where they reinterpret a lot of characters from video games, from horror movies, from comic books and comic book movies, and they draw them really cutesy. But we'll put a link in the description below just so you can see what we mean. Talk to me about the, the design, buddy. I like the red and I like the, like. The art? Yeah, and I like the circle things. Mm, oh, the texture. It's like newsprint. It's supposed to be a, a nod to the classic comic books. What do you think of the cuteness? You like you like how cute he looks? That's fantastic, right? Now, once again, red is not my color. I know red is your color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this in the closet for, I don't know, however many years until you grow into it, okay? What do you want? You want another wearable or do you want a figure? Figure. All right. Awesome. Odd, but awesome. Here we have, just put this right here, a Deadpool Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> now that is a very interesting mashup, no pun intended, mashed potatoes. But this is a Mr. Potato Head Pop Taters Collector's Edition Marvel Deadpool. And what's cool about this box is it was actually designed by Loot Crate. Of course it has a typical Loot Crate gray, white, and black color scheme. Guys, we've all, well, in my generation, we all had Mr. Potato Heads. Even my kid had Mr. Potato Heads. And of course, Mr. Potato Head comes out in Pixar. So that's why I say it was an odd combination because of course, Deadpool is the Merc with the mouth. He's not really PG-13 uh, friendly or PG friendly, but this is a cool mashup. I'm just gonna go ahead and rip the box, right? Because I have no intention of putting this bad boy away. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. You have the, wow. Wow, this is fantastic, this is amazing. So of course we have the typical, whoa. Okay, so we'll get into this right now. We have your normal Mr. Potato Head body, of course it looks like a potato. And we have the feet accessories, mm -hmm. right? And we have your traditional Mr. Potato Head face. This is truly fantastic. Feel that, that's fabric. They went ahead and put the stretchy like material to emulate his mask. That is amazing. So I think maybe this comes off. You could probably do it two ways. You could go ahead and take this off right here. Oh, okay, that really needs to be potato. It is. Oh, that slips off. That is amazing. So of course we have it like that right here. All right, so that's freaking epic. And of course the arms. And we have Wade Wilson unmasked. What do you think of this bad boy right here? I think it's cool. It's awesome, right? Mm -hmm. This is so cool. It's nostalgic. It's a little edgy because no one would think to put Mr. Potato Head, wholesome character, with the Merc with the mouth. But if you think about it, Don Rickles, guys, if you don't know who Don Rickles is, go ahead and Google 
Don Rickles. He's a comedian from way back in the day. Kind of a potty mouth, very sharp, very witty. So it kind of does make sense. But this is amazing. It's an interactive figure because you get to build on it. It's a nostalgic figure because it makes you reminisce. This is so cool. They even put the guns on him. Oh yeah, they didn't put the guns. But it's okay though, he doesn't need guns. He can just go ahead and use the swords and uh, slash or dice or chop. Get it? It's a potato. His oh, adversaries, yeah. his enemies, his, his villains. You know what would have been cool though? If they would have like put some scars on him. Oh, yeah. like, like this bad boy right here. It's a little Wade Wilson unmasked right there. They would have scarred him, that would have been cool. Now there's a few more items. And what, what's one of my favorite things to wear? Shirt. Oh no, we have to wear shirts in public. No, yes, a hat. I wear them in every single video. I don't think there's been a video without my hat. Guess what? Whoa! That's right, everybody. They gave us a Deadpool hat. That is fantastic. Now this Deadpool, right? You know what a variant cover is for comic books? Okay, so they'll design the traditional comic book to suit the storyline, but sometimes People get creative and make different variant editions. Sometimes one comic book could have like three or four different comic book covers. Well, this is a nod to the uh, recap where they went ahead and designed uh, really cutesy Deadpool characters and it's fantastic. Now, let me tell you guys, this hat is super comfortable. I freaking love it. How do you like the design? I think it's cool and I like the red. I like the guns and I like the swords. Yeah. I like the detail. It's pretty cool. Let me go ahead and uh, change back. Okay, ready? I truly do love this hat. This is fantastic. Of course, it's officially licensed by Marvel. Beautifully embroidered. That is amazing. And the hat is well structured. I'm impressed. With these items alone, we've already pretty much met our value. But there's more stuff in here. What do you like about Tuesdays? Tacos? Uh, tacos. Taco Tuesday. That's right. Taco Tuesday. And they gave us... A taco pin. That is amazing. That is fantastic. This kind of looks like a Taco Bell taco, right? Now, we're not sponsored by Taco Bell, but gladly, if you would just pay me in tacos to do anything you wanted me to do, that's morally responsible, right? Ethically responsible, not against the law, I will do it. Talk to me about the design. I like the gold. Right. And I like the, the food. Right, the beef and, and the taco sauce, the sour cream, and what's that? What's that? Lettuce and what's that? Cheese? Oh, and the like, red peppers. I freaking love this. So much detail in such a small little package. It's gonna look really good with my Deadpool hat. Last item, ready? This right here is Deadpool drawing the Merc with a mouth. Three decades of amazing Marvel comic art. Now, at first glance, I thought this was all gonna be about Deadpool, and in some way it is. But this is fantastic because it gives you a history of all the covers that Deadpool has been on. And of course, we have the new mutants here. That's fantastic. Rob Liefeld's creation, his dream child. Rob Liefeld, of course, is responsible. Well, he's one half of the responsibility of Deadpool. If you look at the art, it's just fantastic in how he's evolved. Deadpool actually started off as a villain, but he was so popular that they made him an anti-hero. Let me, let me show you some things that I, I like and what I like about Deadpool. He likes to break the fourth wall. He likes to reference movies a lot. He likes movies. And of course, it's a reference to one of my favorite movies of all time, Forrest Gump. Look at that cover. That's fantastic. There's a few more I want to show you. I, I had them in here. Of course, we have here. This is one of my favorite. It was Jaws. Jaws. That is fantastic. That is amazing. I love Spielberg. One of my all-time favorite records, Grunge Records. One of my all-time favorite bands, Nirvana. They have the cover to Nevermind. Look at that. That's so cool. That is amazing. And of course, he's swimming after... Uh, taco and then the original picture uh, it's a little baby swimming after a dollar bill and of course right here we have silence of the land a movie you have not watched and you probably won't see for a very long time this is amazing and the very last image it's it's here somewhere but i'll show you it's, it's on homage to uh, mad max that is crazy that's amazing right overall buddy what do you think of this box i think it's cool i think it's legendary what would you give this box Five out of five. Five out of five? I'm gonna do you one better, okay? I'm gonna give this box a 10 out of 10. It has a figure, an interactive figure, two wearables, tacos, and this amazing book. Already exceeded its value. So, we're gonna give this 10 out of 10. What should we use as a music rating? How about we use tacos? Yeah? We're gonna give this 10 tacos out of 10. You ready to count with me? All right. One, one two, two, three, four, four five. five. 
six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. You have anything else to say to these beautiful people out here on YouTube? Yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And comment below. And as always, guys, go ahead and Hulk smash that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so when we upload a video, you know where to watch. You ready to disappear? Yeah. All right. In three, two, and...